Hi friends! We have already learned about oil spills and their effects in our last section. Today we will learn about the ways for dealing with accidental oil spills. So let's start. There are different types of oil spills and also different types of cleaning methods. Cleaning methods depend on factors such as the time of the spill, type of oil, weather conditions, and location. We will be learning various methods that are used to clean up the oil spill. And we must already know that even if nothing is done to clean up the oil spill, the oil will eventually break down naturally due to the sun, weather, and wave actions. But it will take a very long time. Lighter oils will disperse faster than heavier ones. When oil does break down, it mixes with the water along with other particles such as sand to form tar balls. And these tar balls tend to scatter across a wide area and they are not very harmful for the environment. So even if we do not clean up oil spills, nature has its own course of action. So in order to clean up the oil spill faster and to save aquatic life, various methods are applied. Now let's learn them one by one. Floating devices. Many types of floating devices are used to clean up the oil floating on the water, like floating booms, skimming, and sorbents. Let's first learn about oil booms which are temporary floating barriers to contain the oil spill. They are mostly used in the form of inflated tubes. They are used to surround the oil and direct the oil spill away from the vulnerable wildlife. And also, they prevent the oil spill from spreading further or reaching the shorelines. Another method is skimming. Skimming involves the use of various tools and equipment to physically separate the oil from the water and place the oil into collection tanks. Skimmers are designed to float across a spill and sweep or scoop the oil into tanks situated either on the coastline or at sea. These types of floating devices are best used on calm waters and not when there are high winds or stormy seas. Another popular method is using sorbents. Sorbents are a kind of sponge that can be placed over the oil spill surface to absorb the oil from the surface. These are the three methods involving the physical equipment to deal with oil spills. Now another method that is used to cleaning up oil spills is burning in situ. This method involves controlled burning of the oil on the oil spill site. The burning needs to be done promptly before the oil spreads to a larger area. This method has a big disadvantage as burning of oil releases toxic gases and particles into the environment. Another method for cleaning oil spills is using dispensers. In this method, special fertilizers or chemical dispersants are used to break the oil apart, allowing it to mix with the water faster. They also hasten the growth of microorganisms that diffuse the components of the oil. These dispensers are most effective if used within a couple of hours of the initial spill. When the oil breaks apart, it forms droplets of oil and water. This increases the surface area of the oil, allowing more exposure to the elements and therefore increasing the speed of evaporation of the oil. Dispersants are not used for all oil spills, as the actual chemicals used can pose a problem to some marine life and coral reefs. Let's learn another method, using biological agents. When the oil spill has reached a coastline and is a threat to life, the best way to clean it up is using biological agents. That is, introducing bacteria 
to the spill in order to start the process of biodegradation. Fertilizing agents such as phosphorus and nitrogen are added to the coastline to encourage bacteria to grow. The bacteria then break down the oil into natural compounds, which can be absorbed into the ground. The success of this method depends on several factors, such as the type of coastline treated and the kind of fertilizer used. Another way to clean up oil spills is using hot water with a lot of pressure. Oil spills on the shores are cleaned using hot water with huge forces that force the oil back into the water and from the water it is cleaned with other various techniques that we had just learned. There are many more methods but we have learned about some of the basic ways to clean up oil spills.